Today, I'm going to teach you the new best 4C recognition system. This system takes advantage of the fact that if we know the AUF that we're going to have to perform after inserting the edges, then we can actually compare certain edges in the U layer, which will give us the relationship between these two edges, which will end up at FU and BU. And there's, in fact, a recognition system based off of the relationship between these two stickers, which will inform us on whether we can cancel or not. But we can skip all that mess and just compare two uh, stickers in the U layer and then two stickers on the F face. And So here's how the recognition system works. Once we know that we're AUFing to the right, we're going to compare this UF sticker, which is yellow here, to the UR sticker, R for right. Now if we're going to the left, then we compare UF, see how we're going to the left here? This is orange, orange. We compare UF to the UL. Now these two are actually the exact same case after we insert uh, the UL, UR edges. And what we notice is that these two stickers are opposite, the two that we are comparing, which means that we can't cancel here. And so, we insert them, we AUF normally, and then we raise the dot. That's what we're always going to do if these two are opposite. Insert normally, AUF normally, and then just raise the dot. Raising the dot means that in the top layer, you're going to have two of the same color, these two yellow here, and one that's a different, so white in this case. And we keep that white, that one sticker that's the same in the top layer, like this. And the other two we bring into the bottom two layers. So when, when we do a U2, they separate, if that makes sense. So the dot stays in the top layer, or the two go into the bottom two layers. If you, if you like to think about it that way, I do. Um, and we do a U2, and then here we have another dot. We keep it in the top layer with a single M move, do a U2. As I said, this is the same case, but here we have to check to the left, and... This is nice because we don't actually have to look at the sides with this recognition method because uh, the AUF you can know from looking at either side. So that's what makes this uh, method so powerful is that with DFDB, I would have to look at this side and see, okay, these are the same. And then with BU, I would have to look over at, uh, actually, I'd have to look at this side and I'd see this is green and this is blue. So that's how I'd know we could cancel. But with this method, it doesn't matter which side I look at, as long as I can see the top. These two are opposite. I can't cancel. I just raise the dot. Raise the dot. In this case, we can cancel. And I can recognize that very quickly, because I know... Actually, I know what the scramble is, that's why. But <laughs> we're going to the right, and uh, I see that we would compare that with this one. They're both the same. And when we know they're both the same, we have to check one more time, because there's a chance we have a... Uh, we could cancel or not. So in this case, these two are the same, which means we can. So same, same equals cancel. Uh, in that case, we are going to AUF the opposite direction. So not the normal direction, but the opposite one. And then we raise the dot, and we've canceled. Here's the case I was talking about last time. Here we're going to the right, and we compare. They're the same, but these two are opposite, which means we can't cancel. Every time you have same and then opposite, we have to AUF the correct direction and do an M2U2 before we can raise the dot. These are arguably the worst uh, three cycle cases because they take five moves. Uh, just felt like pointing that out. It's also notable that this uh, recognition system also works for M misoriented centers. And with UFUB, we have to use a slightly different technique, and I'll explain that in a moment. With UFUB, we use a slightly different technique, and it requires us to uh, pay a little bit more attention to where these white edges end up. However, uh, it still works, and it uh, operates off of similar stickers. So we first compare this sticker at FU to the center on F. In this case, we see that they're the same. So we're going to want to set these two white, uh, white edges up opposite on the M slice. So after doing an M2 to insert the UFUB edges, we are going to have to put this so it's opposite. See how these are opposite? One's here, one's here, and we you look at that, that's on opposite sides. And then we can raise the dot and do that again. In this case, we compare them and they're opposite. 
And so what that means is we're going to stack these two uh, edges. Now this also works uh, even if this isn't a yellow. If this is a yellow edge, it also works. Uh, you'll see that in a moment. Uh, how we deal with that. So here, uh, this is opposite, and so that means that we're going to have to stack these two. So this goes to the back here, and then we stack that one above it, like so. And then, whenever we stack them, we can't raise the dot right away. We have to do M2U2 first. Then we can raise the dot. And that's just how that one works. You have to be very careful with this adjacent case, because if the corners are a U2 away, uh, we also have to note the AUF of the corners. So if the corners are a U2 away, then think of it as doing bringing these corners to the front and then doing a U2, which is the same as bringing the other corners to the front. So if these are opposite, bring the opposite corners to the front. If these are the same, bring the same corners to the front. So here, they're opposite, and so I bring the opposite corners to the front, and I see that that stacks DFDB. Here's one, here's the other. They're stacked, which means I do M2, U2, and then I raise the dot. So that case is quite difficult, but eventually you'll get the hang of it, and uh, you'll be able to use it in your solves. Now, there is one final thing that I haven't addressed yet, which is what you do when... You're inserting ULUR edges uh, fancy, so when you have one of these opposite uh, edges inside it, and then you do this, well, that's not directly inserting them like with the M2, so how do we deal with that? And I'm about to show you. With uh, these bar and uh, opposite, or headlights cases, we have to be careful because we have a ULUR edge in the top layer, and we can't use that. And so in this case, we have that bar and this, which means we can solve it with an M prime, U2, M prime. And we never really hit that uh, M2 away case. So what we have to do is we'd normally see how this is going to the right. We'd normally compare these two stickers, the UF and UR. However, there's uh, backup stickers that I didn't tell you about, which are the opposite two stickers. So the back sticker and the uh, opposite direction sticker. So these two stickers will also uh, tell us the same thing that they would otherwise. And if you compare these two stickers on the front and they're adjacent, you can actually just compare it with this bottom edge here. Uh, so in this case, we see these two are the same, which means we could cancel because we're going to the right. So these two, well, that's, U -O -U, that's a UR edge. So uh, we compare these two, same, and these two are same. So we know we can cancel. We AUF the wrong direction, which I always mess up for some reason, um, and then we raise the dot. You'll see the same thing going on here, except for, uh, in this case, the bars at the back, so we can use these two stickers here, or these two uh, edges here, because they're uh, normal M-slice edges. So here they're the same, these two are the same, we can cancel. Uh, we would AUF this direction and raise the dot. So, for the opposite edge case, instead of looking at the normal direction of the AUF, or comparing in that direction, since it's an opposite bar, we look to the opposite direction. However, this is a ULUR edge, so we can't compare these two. We have to compare these two. And these two are the same, and these two are the same, and so we know that we can cancel. Cancel. Bring the dot up, and AMS. In this case, we see that we have an opposites case. We know that is in the back, so instead of comparing these two stickers, we're actually going to compare these two stickers, which are both white, and then these are both green, so we know we can cancel. If you haven't caught on yet, in all four of these examples, I've been canceling. It's actually the same exact case, but I just wanted to point out to you uh, where these stickers are to look for. So, if it's an opposite bar, opposite direction, and always beware of the uh, ULUR edge in the top layer. Avoid that at all costs by using the alternates. So uh, I compare these two, same, same, cancel. Okay, I'm going to go over three examples uh, for these normal inserts. Then I'm going to go over some disoriented center example solves, or example um, 4Cs, and then finally some UFUB examples. So here, I see we're going to the left, same, and same, so I know we can cancel. What do you know? First example, and we can cancel. Same, same, I insert, go the wrong direction, and then raise the dot. 
Now here, if you look, same, opposite. So I AUF normally, and then I do an M2, U2, because they were opposite. And then I raise the dot. In this case, they're opposite, because we're going to the right, so I check the right sticker, they're opposite. And so I know I can't cancel, I go AUF normally, and just raise the dot immediately, because the original two were opposite. Now on to some misoriented center cases. Okay, so with misoriented centers, we still check the exact same stickers uh, as we would normally. Uh, so we're going to the right, uh, I can see that, and then these two, the one on the right, is opposite, so it looks like we can't cancel in this case. We insert them, we AUF correctly, and we raise the dot, raise the dot, and finish. Here we're going to the left, uh, I compare the left two stickers and they're the same, so we could cancel, but it looks like these two are opposite, so we can't, uh, which means we're going to have to do that M2U2 after AUFing normally. And then we raise the dot. In this case, it looks like we're going to the right, and these two match, and so we just insert them normally, and then we, uh, so we have matching uh, to the right, and then matching on the front, we can cancel, so we AUF the opposite direction, and raise the dot. Simple enough. On to UFUB examples. Okay, it looks like we have a uh, adjacent case here. That's a bit unfortunate uh, as a first one, but we'll see. So, since these corners are matching, I know I'm going to have to bring the matching corners, and it looks like they're over here. And so that's going to have me doing them diagonally. If you were paying attention, this comes to the front here. And this goes diagonal when we bring these correct ones front. And then, since they're diagonal, I just raise the dot. In this case, they are the same. Nice and easy. We insert them, set them up opposite, and raise the dot. Last case, they are opposite, and so we insert them, and then stack the uh, D-layer edges, and then we do M2, U2, and then we raise the dot. So you might be wondering to yourself, so why is this method better than BU or DFDB? Well, the simple fact is, I only have to look at one side of the cube uh, in order to... Like, I can look at either side of the cube to recognize this one, whereas with BU and DFDB, if I was in this uh, OH position here, I'm solving with my left hand, like most people, I need to see this sticker, which is BU, and for DFDB, I also need to see this sticker. And so I would either have to pick up the cube or, like, put my head on the table to see it. And both of that is a waste of movement and ultimately uh, turns into a waste of time. The same thing happens in two-handed... If uh, I'm here, and I am looking at the right side after second block, and then after CMLL I don't switch views, and after LSC I don't switch views, I am now stuck where I need to see this sticker for BU or DFDB in order to know. Whereas with my system, I see that we're going to the left, these two are opposite, we can't cancel, and so then we just do everything normally. However, with those systems, we could run into the problem where we think, oh, maybe I can cancel, oh, wait, no, I can't cancel, and now we're wasting moves and wasting time, or we're wasting movements moving our head and tilting the cube and picking it up. So that's what ultimately makes this so much better, and it still works for misoriented centers, UFUB. I hope this helped, and I hope I covered all the possible 4C situations you might run into. If anything is unclear or uh, not working for you, feel free to ask me about it in the comments. Uh, I'm sure I messed up somewhere. <laughs> uh, so if this does work for you and you end up using it, feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.